Hi everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie. You're not neither any of these blokes. This is Jobless Gamer. Jobless Gamer from Raw Clan. They're ripping it up on the global map, but this video is not just about the global map. It's a random battle featuring Jobless Gamer. And also, um, as a reminder, get your tips in for tomorrow night. Tomorrow night's the last of the normal rounds, if you like, uh, for the ANZ Premier League. ANZ Premier League Fantasy League. We're going to go through how to do that. We're going to go through how I'm going, and if you can catch me, and I'll give you a crisp by five at the finals on May 22nd at Fortress Melbourne. We'll have a quick look at the uh, at at the leaderboard. If you look at the leaderboard, it's looking uh, it's looking pretty good for the Matildas. The Melbourne Matildas are, are leading by two points on ten points with two wins and four draws. Undefeated Melbourne Matildas. And as a boy from Melbourne, I'm pretty happy about that. The Scorpions coming second and Action X as well coming second, both on eight points. Conquerors and Sentinels both on seven points. Bulldogs on six, Archers and Panthers both on five. There's one round remaining before the playoffs. It's going to be Action X versus Matilda. Scorpions, Scorpions versus Panthers. Bulldogs, Conquerors and Sentinels, Archers. And, uh, of course, the, the, that'll determine who goes into the playoffs to, uh, to have a great time. Um, and, and head down to Melbourne, to Fortress Melbourne on May 22nd. I'll be there. You should be there too if you can. It's going to be epic. Anyway, back to Jobless Gamers game. He's on Sand River. He's playing the Super Kong, the Tier 10 British Heavy Tech. Now, this is attack is clearly proficient at. He's got two marks of excellence on that gun barrel. And um, he's on Sand River. He's gone to the, the, the southern part of the map where, where, where things often happen. He's gone full APCR because I'm tipping he's trying to put three marks on this bad boy. 400 alpha damage, 326 millimeters of penetration with premium ammunition, 259 with standard, which is AP. He's also got pudding and tea running, and he got the small repair kits and small consumables, so he's pretty confident he's going to get this three mark, I reckon. Maybe, or maybe he's not trying to three mark. Who knows? Anyway, back to the game. They're down, they're down by two tanks. Two tier eights, though, a JP2 and an Indian Panther. Uh, there's only two tier 10 tanks in this in this game. Jobless game is in the Super Conk, and uh, there's a grill as well. The enemy have got an IS-7, and also a grill. There's a bit happening in the north, See his team are having a, a red hot go up there. The the grill looks like he's just either just loaded in or he's relocating from the central the, the, the base position. And the jobless gamer gets ready to uh, have a red hot go in the southern half of um, the southern half of the map. We'll quickly touch base on the on the B League. The B League on uh, Monday night was, was halfway through as we, we, we reached the, the halfway point for the B League, the better league, the bigger league and that's where uh, Jobless Gamer plays for the Hawthorne Hellcats who are leading on seven points. Comets on four, Wolverines on three and Centurions on two. It's only halfway through the season though for the B League. There's three more weeks to go. That will also culminate just before um, just before the, the final on May 22nd for the Premier League zone. So, as I mentioned, that's going to be at Fortress Melbourne. I highly recommend you can get down there if you can. I was there. I've been there a couple of times, once with some of the lads and once with the good lady. It's a pretty good venue and uh, the food's not bad. The bar's pretty good and the, the, the technology there is it's pretty impressive. Anyway, back to the game. Jobless Gamer, they're down by four tanks. This is what we've missed out on as we've been uh, talking about the, the Premier League the B League, the second division, and of course there's, we're still going to go through the fantasy teams as well. Get your fantasy teams in before tomorrow night, especially for the Premier League. The, um, for some more real prizes, some crisp high fives, and uh, maybe a few follies down at Fortress Melbourne. One for the score. Jobless Gamer on 11.88, he points of damage done so far. Find it playing with the Samoa a little bit. The Samoa's trying to damage him, but not really doing too much. There's a lot of tanks down here. The score's one for the down by three tanks, so we're down by four. And um, the jobless game is thinking, well, I've got a bit of backup here. They've lost a, in the since flicking around between the screens. They've also lost a Progetto 46 and the G saw, uh, a couple of an auto loader and an auto reloader. But um, jobless game is in a very, very strong hull down position here. If they all just pushed on him, he'd probably be dead. Having said that, there's a few few friends behind him, and that's um, his first kill of the game. He's brought his damage up to 2,779, and this isn't going to stop. He's just going to. Keep unloading that. Was that that was a G round from the Rimby Borsig Waffentrager, who's clearly not going to do too well um, anymore. He's out of the game. That's his second kill. Jobless gamer from Raw Clan having a great time in the global match. Centurion seven one also firing H G or maybe it was Hesh. Oh, I can't remember. I S three's up there as well as a Samua. The Samua. I'm guessing. Is, no, the Samua's not reloading. The Samua's shooting at somebody else. Jobless gamer saying, "Well, the Samua's shooting at somebody else." Time to get rid of one of these guys, I'll probably be able to kill him. There goes the IS-3 bringing up Jobless Gamer's third kill. Now all of a sudden the deficit is only down to one. 4-5 the score, three kills 
damage dealt this game. 4,385 hit points of damage done. 1620 damage blocked by armor. 566 assisted damage. Puts one into the top of the Centurion 7 1. He's got how many tanks are back here? He's already killed three. Plus, there's another three. So there's about six or seven tanks all up, and he's just slowly, methodically gotten rid of them all one by one. Remember, they were down 0 4, and now the score is 7 6. So you should never give up. He finds the grill kicking back there on the perch, sniping like a TD, and um, puts one into the grill at tier 10. And uh, I'm not sure how that one bounced the, 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 the Conway, but maybe the Conway's got. A bit more armor than I thought. 8-6 to score. The Bulldog, my old mate, Von the Burglar. The Bulldog shoots him once. Job the Scammer comes around, finds the Centurion 7-1, shoots him. Go, takes a bit of damage. He's down to 580 hit points, but he should reload before the 7-1. No, the ISM kills him, and that brings the score back to 9-6. Three kills, 5,854 hit points of damage done so far. 16-20 blocked, 1199 assisted damage. Best thing about assisted damage, you don't have to pay for your bullets. The, the grill's thinking about poking, but uh, Jobless Gamer rightly ignores the grill, shoots the Conway because the grill didn't end up peaking. That brings the score up to 10 7, and that was his fourth kill. Two kills away from a top gun, 6,223 hit points of damage done so far. Looking at the mini map, he's realised, hang on, the <laughs> backup has sort of disappeared a little bit. So. Uses the dead Centurion 7 1 as a little bit of cover. What's he going to do here? They are winning 10 7, but remember, they were, they were down by four tanks and then they, they bought it back. The enemy team could do exactly the same. The enemy team has still got both tier 10s, so is Jobless Gamers team. He's also got his, his grill, who's slowly coming along the southern flank. Here comes the IS 7. Now, the IS 7 won't have the gun depression. There's another 227 hit points up for grabs if he lands his shots. Artillery takes a swing and a miss, and um, down goes the Centurion 1, killed by the grill. Uh, just north of the, uh, just north of the, the red cap. Finds me, old mate Von the Burglar. Shoots him once, shoots him twice, leaves him on 97 hit points, and the grill confirms that kill, bringing the score up to 11-8. Four kills to Jobless Gamer. 7,126 hit points of damage done. They're winning by three tanks, but you never, never know. Because there any of still got both tier tens left. So, so is Jobless though, and the grill is coming up. He's looking towards the enemy grill. Artillery just takes a bit of a chunk out of the IS-7. Jobless Gamer going up to the ridge line. See, he's got one eye back on where the grill is. He doesn't want to get shot in the rear by that grill. That could end his dreams of, um, of, of, this, of this replay getting even better. 11-8, four kills. Down goes the VK, killed by the IS-7 just in front of him. And he, 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 spots, he spots another Borsig. He spots another Borsig. The, uh, the other one he's already killed. Shoots one into it, brings his damage up to seven and a half thousand hit points. The IS-7's there. What's the IS-7 on? 1100. Luckily, the enemy artilleries are both already dead, so he can sort of try to get into these hold down positions. There's there's dead tanks. There's also there's also the the hill hill dunes, the sand dunes. Puts another one into the IS-7, brings him down to 372 hit points, which is a one shot. He's one hit point away from 8,000 damage. That one just misses. The IS-7 just missed as well. IS-7 still stunned, so I reckon the uh, Super Conqueror would would reload before him. IS-7 no longer stunned on 372 hit points. Should be a one shot for Jobless Gamer, and uh, the rate he's going is eventually going to run out of bullets. 7,999 hit points of damage done so far. Artie, Artie stuns the IS-7. Now the IS-7, there you go, the other Artie kills him, and that's good um, good patience, in my opinion, from Jobless Gamer on four kills. Jobless Gamer from Raw Clan. They're having a great time on the global map. Looking out for the grill. There's a grill up there, as well as a Borsig. It'll be, it'll be easy damage if you can land the shot. The Borsig shoots and misses. He shoots the Borsig, sets him on fire, and that's his fifth kill, and all of a sudden, he's on a top gun. The grill... The Grill 15 is the next target. He's loaded high explosives here. No, he's gone back to APCR. Probably a smart move. 13-9 to score. Only two enemy tanks remain. The screw last spotted down there where the standard B is. And uh, and that, uh, why not? Why wouldn't you shoot him? Hopefully the... Oh, is the Grill going to get him? No. The Grill and the screw both shoot him at the same time. The Grill distracts him. The, the screw fires high explosive and only gets him for 104 hit points. And surely he'll get to the grill and pick up the top gun can he yes he can nothing wrong with that <laughs> on sandy river the super comp jobless gamer representing the the hellcats
the Hawthorne Hellcats, the Hoppers Crossing Hellcats, the Melbourne Hellcats in the ANZ B League, the better league, the bigger league. That's the result. We knew it was an ace. Ace tanker mastery badge. Hand of God, spotter, bruiser, arsonist for setting the uh, the Borsig on fire and killing him. Duelist, fire for effect. He got some bonds for that from one of the daily missions. Steel wall, high caliber, top gun. Look at that, 9,090 hit points of damage. Six kills, 1574, base experience. The bloke who got second did just under three. He did three times, more than three times the amount of damage that uh, the second place player got. 1572, base experience. He fired 29 shots, 26 hit, 23 went through. He blocked nearly 2K. He, he spotted nearly 2K, and uh, it only cost him 12,000 credits. That's after tax with a premium account in that 10 minute game. Not bad, Jobless. Not bad at all, my old mate. That'll be a three mark uh, pretty soon if you keep playing like that. Back to the Premier League. Premier League. That's the ladder. We've already been through the ladder. There's the Fantasy League as well. Don't forget, all these links will be down below. With the Fantasy League, all you need to do is log in, just like you log in with any other website related to World of Tanks. Log, log in with your in-game details if you want to be eligible for the prizes. Pick your teams. I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure what happened, but somehow last week, after a, after getting knocked down to about 20th, we're back into the top 10, so don't worry about that. And my old mate Sam got knocked off the top spot for the first time uh, for the first time this season as well. JS is up there. Profit Tickle's up there. Nate Palmer's up there. Everybody's up there. It's all happening. Don't worry about that. There's some big names up there. If you can catch me and beat me and, and I don't know, I'll buy a beer if you come to Melbourne, and it'll be great. The B League, we went through the B League. With B League going through the half the half uh, way mark. And uh, the fantasy of that looks like the fantasy little. They're still locked at this stage. Jobless gamer. They, that's that's what you want to get. If he keeps playing like that, he'll be having a great time. And again, not a bad week for Stewie JP last week in the in the in the Division Two Fantasy League. Just like the Premier League, you, lo- you log into the website, which will be linked down below. Log in with your World of Tanks details, and you can pick your teams. Um, top three. God, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got to tell you, I'm pretty happy with top three. All you need to do, you can you can also see the schedule on there. If you want to, you just click on the uh, the team and where the player might be, and there'll be a plus and a minus sign. Add them in, take them out, whatever you want to do to pick your team. Best of luck with everyone with their fantasy team picks. World of Tanks ANZ Twitch channel. That's where it's all going to happen. Friday night uh, for the Premier League. Monday night for the for the B League, the second division. And um, it's a good stuff. You can win some good stuff and 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 cheer on your team if it's if you're going for for clan mates who or friends who might be in the in the teams or people who represent your state or country. Once again, thanks for the replay, Jobless Gamer. That was an absolute ripper. Best of luck for Monday night, Jobless, and tomorrow night. Don't forget your tips in for your Premier League. ANZ Fantasy. See if you can catch me. See if you can catch me. Catch me. Chris by five. Maybe a couple of frothies. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Thanks for the replays, lads. Take care and see you all next time. (laughs) 